Sharks and a big Namaste, namaste from India. Hi. Namaste. Hi. I'm Ridul Jacob. And I'm Parvi Chadha. And we are the founders of House of Parvi. Today our ask is for 210,000 euros for 22%. So, uh, gigatons is the word that is used for the waste that comes out of the fashion industry every year. And uh, we had an idea on how we could contribute to this. And we had a vision which was sustainable, eco-friendly, high fashion luxury, and moreover, it has a global reach potential. So I would like to have your attention to the screen. We have created something and we would love to show you what this is. And I'm optimistic this will be worth your time. The landfills. Definitely the landfills motivate me to do better work for this planet. I came through a, you know, ready to make a, a polyester fashion. Now I've been doing since eight, nine years now after my father retired. And growing up with him in the 90s and seeing everyday fabrics, designing clothes for people. And I've always been a very eco-conscious person. You know, not wasting food, wearing clothes over 25 years, wearing my mother's clothes till date. So, been, like, that's been a journey. How, that's how I've evolved. What my customers should feel like is definitely luxury and guilt-free. My intent was that somebody wearing a luxury brand, they're spending much, but you know, it has to be guilt-free. It has to be sustainable. When we are uh, starting with the collection, we actually come up with a theme first. According to the theme, we actually hand paint them and then we scan them. At the end, we make them into either a garment or a scarf, whatever it is. Fabric which we are using for our uh, garments are plant-based. Uh, they're made out of lotus stems, rose petals and aloe vera. So the basic uh, idea was for me to use the fabrics which are plant-based because it has to be degraded. It should not leave any kind of trace when de discarded. Sustainable goes all the way to, you know, details to what you're doing to the fabric uh, cuttings which are left behind. What inks are you using? And once the dyeing has been done, you have to take care of what water is being, uh, how it has been disposed of. So the inks and dyes which we have used in our garments are basically all certified. They are certified by Global Organic Textile Standards. Interlining which we've managed to use is also eco-friendly. It is uh, biodegradable. It is made out of 100% viscose, which has been sourced uh, ethically. And it's been certified by Ocotex and we've sourced it from Frodenburg, Germany. The lining which we have used in our garments is made out of cotton linter. It's completely biodegradable and ethically sourced. The paper tags which we are using in our uh, brand are made out of seed papers and once it's discarded, it actually grows into a plant. And the inks which we have used are soy-based inks which are completely biodegradable. Another tricky thing was how can we make a sustainable packaging which is luxury. We want tree-free, we wanted, uh, you know, a sustainable and it should look luxury. The labels and wash care which we have used in our garments are GOTS certified uh, labels. They are made out of 100% organic cotton and they are biodegradable. The buttons which we are using for our shirts and garments are made out of clay. The interesting part about our uh, zippers are that they are made out of recycled PET bottles by YKK zippers. You know, getting on to every detail, every element, to finding everything sustainable was a long, hard journey, but everything was really joyful. High fashion can be ethical. We have done it. We have made it. The thing which I really wish to achieve is motivate more people to make more sustainable brands because this planet now needs it, there's no survival without it.
So today we are not here to just ask for your money, but we are here to seek your support, to your expertise and your knowledge. So do we actually make a, we build a better planet, we make a greener planet and help reduce the pollution we are creating. Now we might, we are welcoming your questions. Thank you. So, first of all, the video was excellent. Um, I love what you guys are doing. Um, Hughes Group, um, like Hughes Group, like uh, Netta Porter, uh, they just bought a lot of the online retail stores. Have an area just dedicated to sustainable fashion. Um, there are many many designers that are doing it. One of them being Stella McCartney, amongst many others. So I love what you guys are doing. I love the attention to detail and everything that. Um, you're doing. Our shirts start from 299 euros, okay. uh, which is the solid shirts. The printed shirts will be 349. So, what target market are you looking at? Luxury market. We are trying to place ourselves in the luxury space because sustainability is missing over there. We have very few, very very few players in that space. Okay, and. Did, do you already have any any uh, revenue coming in? No, ma'am. We are a startup. We made the product. We've done our R&D for two years. We've made this, and now we're looking for funding to right. scale this up. When did all this start? Sorry. When did you start producing? Uh, uh -huh. Where? When? 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 2020, we uh, came up with the idea of this brand, and that's when we started uh, developing and researching about the plant-based fabrics. Because even this was very new to us to introduce lotus stem fabric, rose petals, and all. So we did an R&D, and uh, then, like, we start we. We did uh, like sampling, sampling. And, yes, we did sampling in uh, 2021. We gave out a few samples to our friends and family, we tested, and that's when we thought that it's ready to come into the market. So you didn't start yet? No, we haven't st sold yet, no. Where do you plan on selling, and what's your marketing strategy? So we plan to sell in Europe itself. The first target market, uh, we want to start with fashion shows. And the first fashion show we plan to do is in Frankfurt Fashion Week and Helsinki Fashion Week. Because they are the- Which would cost how much? Uh, they are costing approximately 500, uh, 500, 5,000 euros. 5,000 euros, including the marketing, the models and everything. The, just the fees is uh, approximately one, one lakh. Uh, I'm so sorry, I'm just... Uh... Just back with Indian rupees, so... It's okay. Do you have an online presence, as in do you have Instagram page? Do you yes. have the URL yes. of the website? Yes. We have got our brand registered globally also. We have ta uh, taken the trademark as well. So this brand has been trademarked uh, globally. We have our website also. And are you the founders? Yes. Both of you? Both of us. How old are you? 33 and a half. I'm 31. Never asked story. a woman how Th old No, I asked him. She answered yes. <laughs> That's fine. I'm not... Uh, um, I was really okay to tell you. you. Why are you in this space? Family related? My, my dad started in 1978. And uh, after my dad passed away in 2011, me and my brother have been... We've been doing bespoke tailoring for... Uh, Women's and Bespo men. Bespoke tailoring. Yes, we have been doing. We have a store in India with the name of Diplomat by Kitty. That's my That's dad's yours, name. Chris. It was packed perfect. I, I... Where, where do you produce these? In, in India? Uh, my sampling unit is in with me. Like it's, uh, I have a factory where we, I do sampling. The production, high production, will be doing. Uh, so we have to do production with the GOTS certified factories. Which uh, you know, which has, which are taking care of how they are disposing Sunspeak, their waste, yeah, no. even the water disposal, they everything. Could. So those factories are also we have in India. In India, I have these yes, factories. yes, yes. It's outsourced. But, so it's but outsourced. But the manufacturing, the production is outsourced. So you're going to come up with the designs, with the with the concept, yes. and you outsource the production. I, yes. And uh, what is the margin between the production cost and the retail cost? So the, our average cost of the product is coming out to be 450 euros. How much? 450 euros. 450. Uh, this is the retail. And uh, the cost of production averagely comes out to be 132.5 euros. Okay. Can I ask you, uh, you, you are making a, a request for 210,000. Yes. For 22%. I always ask because it's a little bit Weird, you know, two hundred and ten thousand. 
support went to two percent. Can you explain how you arrived for this valuation? So uh, basically, we had our CPAs from Volta. We did our uh, forecasting and everything, and then we, when we uh, saw the potential in the business, that's what we thought that we want to give away like 22 percent of our business at present. So, can you show me the forecast? Yes, please. Thank you. So in the first year, we are making a loss of 2,800 euros. And from the second year onwards, uh, as per the forecast, we'll be making a profit of, uh, after taxes, uh, 15300 uh, euros approximately. And in the second year, we are making a profit of 416 euros approximately. Four thousand. Third year. Third year. Thousand. Four, thousand. Yes, 416. Thousand. 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 No, no, no. I have Indian matrix. I know, I know, but I can't read it. Is it 416,000? So it's six numbers there, or? It's six. Six Four, numbers. Yes, four one six zero three one. This is the third year. Third year. So how much money are you going to make this year? This year, first year, we're in loss. A loss first, of twenty-eight hundred euros. Twenty-eight thousand. Twenty-eight hundred. 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 Twenty-
Factory. Effective. We have set factories. As I said, we need only certified factories. We have already tied up with them. Uh, but you got the prices already for the cost. Yes, yes, price. yes. Yeah, yeah. That is why on the on those bases we have done our costing. Your costings, yes. okay. Do you have lined up retailers? Uh, retailers, uh, no, we only have the lined of fashion shows which we have applied already to Frankfurt and Helsinki. Which is where the buyers will be coming. Because we have to, after the fashion show, there is an we have to exhibit our product line and that's where you get B2B and B2C customers. I would, I would have been more comfortable if that happened before you came here. I'm going to be very honest. It would have been a complete pitch show. I am uh, I'm, I'm not an expert in the fashion industry, so I'm going to make it easy. I'm going to be out. So, yesterday, in my opinion, this has been the best pitch I've seen so far. Uh, you're super organized. There's the passion, there's the life story. The product is very good. I'm really impressed with even the label can be sewn. But I was exposed to fashion retail and I lost a bit of money in my past and I promised myself <laughs> I will never do that again. Then don't. Um, <laughs> so it's going to be a no for me. Um, but guys, keep it up. Like, you have the product, you have the story. So now it's just whatever I say means nothing. So, so keep going and I'm sure you're going to do well. Thank you so much. I mean, you're doing everything right. Yes. I have a product, I mean, one of our brands is launching soon and it's Oikotex as well certified, so you know what you're talking about. It's better to have a certification than just claim it, you know. So. For the time being, for me there are a bit of uncertainties. Um, the fact that you don't have any retailers lined up, you have everything ready, but I don't know how it's going to come across to the market. So for now, I'm out. If you come next year, even if your valuations, I mean, could be higher Hopefully because good. obviously your retail, I mean, you would have started retailing, um, I would definitely consider it. But at the moment, I'm uncertain and I like to spend my money wisely. So, no problem. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am super engaged with what you're doing no. because I really believe in sustainability. I really believe that the concept and the garments that you are doing are, I mean, I wish I could explain to the people seeing us the feeling, I mean, of these materials that you're using, aloe vera, lotus, and, and, and all these flowers. Amazing feel. It's a great product. At this point in time, I will not be investing but I promise you, I will be more than happy to help you settle here in Malta in terms of business, in terms of connections. So I will be more than happy to do this for you pro bono. So I will not be requiring or requesting any, any, any shareholding. I will do it pro bono and I would really like you to succeed. Thank, Thank you. you so much. But well done. Thank you so much. For the time being, I'm out of it as well. <laughs> The reason is that it's not something in which I specialize in, so it's a totally different market from what I operate myself. Cool. I would have been interested if, you know, we joined up forces. That's between, what we were discussing. That's what we were discussing Share, between other sharks. But obviously on my own, I would, I'm, I would pull back from, from continuing. But. Thank you. But well, honestly, I, I just want to say that the expertise in the fashion is ours. And the f expertise we were looking for was marketing globally. And uh, hope we actually were able to connect next year. The, the one problem is that we love, we love the material. I'm sorry, but I'm, I, I, I love this. We love the material, but not everyone's going to appreciate it online, for example. And to get into retailers, your brand needs to be, it's not going to take one or two years, it's going to take longer. So no problem. that's why. We should rediscuss. No Don't problem. give up. Thank you once again. Thank you so much. Keep it up. It's got some potential. Everything's perfect. Even the paper of the even the paper everything, covering, everything. Art, covering the color. It's recycled. No. It's done recycled. Uh, and there's an explanation how it is recycled. Huh? They haven't the back. even tested the market. Well, the the, uh, the feedback was very honest and uh, very genuinely that we should be working on, and uh, we are hoping to be better 
and we as i said come next year maybe and we'll be investing so we'll be doing that